So if you've been researching different VPNs, there's no way that you haven't come across NordVPN. That's one of the biggest VPN providers out there, but does that mean that it's the right one for you? In this video, we'll bring you up to speed on what NordVPN is bringing to the table in terms of privacy and security, as well as coverage and performance without overcomplicating things. In short, does this VPN do the things that you need it to do, checking all of those boxes with minimal downsides? I'm Corey from security.org. Let's check out NordVPN. To begin, how does NordVPN protect you? Well, it acts as a privacy shield between you and your ISP, your internet service provider, so they can't track your activity. And there are three points to make here. One, NordVPN hides your real IP address and location. Two, it encrypts your data so that nobody can see what you're doing. And three, NordVPN has a strict no-log policy, so they're not tracking or storing your browsing history at all. Plus, NordVPN is based in Panama, where there are no mandatory data retention laws, so that's yet another layer of protection. NordVPN makes all of its security features super easy to use across devices. Mac, Windows, Android, iOS, even browser extensions. The features vary a little bit depending on which app that you're using, but here are three that I specifically wanted to point out. The first is protocols, which is the technology behind the scenes that keeps your connection private and secure. Nord offers three different encryption protocols. WireGuard, which they call Nord Links and is the default protocol option, Nord Whisper, and OpenVPN. The second security feature is the kill switch. So if your VPN loses its connection, your internet connection will automatically stop so that none of your activity is leaked. And the third security feature is split tunneling, which allows you to select which apps you want to use the VPN with and which apps you don't want to use it with. Where can you connect to with NordVPN? At the moment, Nord has over 7,000 servers in 125 different countries. And this massive server network helps to keep your connection fast, stable, and gives you a ton of options for accessing global content. NordVPN has specialty servers for users with advanced needs. For example, Double VPN, which is double encryption for users who need extreme privacy, Onion over VPN, this combines VPN privacy with the Tor network. Obfuscated servers, these hide VPN use in countries or networks that try to block it. And P2P servers, which are optimized for secure and private file sharing. There's also a dedicated IP add-on and MeshNet, which allows you to securely connect your own devices anywhere in the world. What's the user experience like with NordVPN? Well, personally, I used it on my MacBook Pro and my Google Pixel, and it was as simple and as straightforward as I hoped it would be. In the Mac app, you get an interactive map view. You can easily search for specific servers in the list view. You can access your presets, connect quickly in one click. I was also a fan of the menu bar view, which is sort of a simplified look where you can see your connection status, and change servers, among other things. The Android app is nice too. You can use the interactive map to navigate to the server that you're looking for, or you can select it from a list view along with the specialty servers. One tap on the server to get you connected and you'll see all the specifics, the protocol used, the new IP address, the time connected, all in the toggle display at the top of the app. And of course, you can jump into the settings of any of the NordVPN apps to adjust any of the app-specific protocols and security settings. How fast is NordVPN? We used it with a variety of different server types all over the world, and on the whole, the results were solid. Take, for example, a moment in time with our MacBook Pro. Now, baseline speeds without a VPN, we had a download speed of 191 megabits per second and an upload speed of 122 megabits per second. Now, using NordVPN to connect to a US server in Chicago, we were able to get a download speed of 184 megabits per second and an upload speed of 26 megabits per second. So that's only a seven megabit difference in download speeds when using NordVPN to connect to a domestic server. Upload speeds, on the other hand, you see that they're quite diminished when using NordVPN. The baseline was 122. The US server was giving us 26 at that particular moment. 
checking out some more speed tests from servers around the world using the MacBook Pro and NordVPN. In Milan, Italy, we were actually able to get a 195 download, so even more than the control, which was 191, and then we were able to get 21.1 upload speed. In London, we got 172 download, 35.2 upload. In Tokyo, we were able to get 184 download and 19.2 upload. So there's a general idea of the speeds that you can expect to get when using NordVPN on Mac OS. How fast is NordVPN on mobile? We use the Pixel 7a to test out NordVPN and the baseline numbers without being connected to a VPN was 211 megabits per second download and 83.3 megabits per second upload. Connecting to a US server in New York using NordVPN, we were able to get a download speed of 152 megabits per second and an upload speed of 80.8 megabits per second. So while the drop was a little bit more in the download speed, it's interesting to see that the upload speed with the VPN was almost identical to the speed without a VPN. Connecting to a server in Auckland, New Zealand, we were able to get a download speed of 197 and an upload speed of 13.9. And connecting to a NordVPN server in Frankfurt, Germany, we were able to get a download speed of 190 and an upload speed of 18.9. A major function of a VPN is using it to access content from around the globe. So if you're traveling abroad, you want to stream some content from your home country, a VPN can be really helpful in bypassing any geo restrictions. Testing NordVPN with Netflix, we were able to successfully stream content using NordVPN servers from around the world, including Spain as well as Japan, and we were using the Chrome browser. How much does NordVPN cost? Well, as with most VPNs, the longer that you sign up for, the less your average monthly cost is gonna be. Here are the rates for the basic plan at the time of this video. You can go with the monthly option, which is by and far the most expensive option at $12.99 a month. If you pay up front for the one year option, that brings it down to an average of $4.99 a month. And if you go for the longest term, the two year option, that brings your average monthly cost down to $3.39. Do note that Nord allows you 10 simultaneous connections with your subscription, so not the unlimited connections that you get with some of the other VPN providers out there, but 10 certainly is respectable. It's gonna be more than sufficient for most individual users. And just so you know, there's actually three other plans in addition to the basic plan from NordVPN that they offer. Basically, it's their different digital security products. I'm not going to get into those in this video, but if you want to learn more about those products, definitely check out our NordVPN article over on security.org. Let's wrap it up for today's video. Here are the pros with NordVPN. It has excellent privacy and security based in Panama with a no-log policy. It has a ton of specialty servers for advanced users that need that extra protection. It has fast and reliable speeds thanks to over 7,000 servers, and you have the ability to stream. Potential cons of NordVPN? It does cost a bit more than some of the VPN competitors out there, but the performance could very well make up for those extra dollars. And then NordVPN does limit you to 10 simultaneous connections, which is more than enough for most users, but some folks are looking for those unlimited connections offered by some of the other VPN providers. Still deciding on which VPN is right for you? Watch this video right here to see security.org's top picks, or click the link below to read our best VPNs article.